Good day everyone. Welcome to another session of Mami Teo Teaches Math. Our topic for today is solving problems involving consumer and business loan or the amortization and mortgages. What is amortization? Amortization refers to the process of paying a loan in with equal sums over a certain period of time. As you notice, this one is similar to annuity formula. R is equal to PV multiplied by I quantity 1 plus I raised to N divided by 1 plus I raised to N minus 1. Take note that R is the periodic payments, I is equal to R divided by M, and then N is equal to MP. And PV is the present value or the principal amount. Let's take example number 1. Kirsten borrowed 100000 for improvement of her home. She agreed to repay the loan in monthly payments for five years at 6% interest compounded monthly. How much is her monthly payment? What is the total amount to be paid? How much interest is included in the total payments? So we have three questions here. Let us identify first the given. PV is 100,000. Our R is equal to 6% or that is equal to 0 0.06. Our M is 12. It says here monthly. And then our T is our T is 5, 5 years. No more. We can now solve for the I which is equivalent to R divided by M. This is 0 0.06 divided by 12. You will be getting here I equals 0 0.005. Okay. And your N here is empty. So meaning N is equal to 12 times 5. This is N equals 60. Okay. So let us remove this. Okay, so using now the formula, we have R is equal to PV 1 plus I raised to N divided by 1 plus I raised to N minus 1. So we have now 100,000 multiplied by our i is 0 0.005 multiplied by 1 plus 0 0.005 raised to n which is 60 divided by 1 plus 0 0.005 raised to 60 minus 1 okay so, how are we going to solve this? To calculate this. So let us simplify first. This is 100,000. 0 0.005 times 1.005 raised to 60. Divided by 1.005 raised to 60 minus 1. You press this one first, 1.005 raised to 60 multiplied by 0 0.005 equals divided by, open parenthesis, 1.005 raised to 60 minus 1 close parenthesis. And then you multiply it by 100,000 and you will be getting here 1,000. Nine hundred thirty-three point twenty-eight. So this one is the periodic payment. Okay, now question number two. What is question number two? What is the total amount to be paid? This is question number two. What is the total amount to be paid? How are we going to solve that? This is for number one. Take note, this one is for number one. Number two. 
question number two. What is the total amount to be paid? Remember that here, it says here, the amount, the principal amount is 100,000 and the interest is 6%. So how are we going to solve that? For number two, we will be multiplying the periodic payment by the total number of payments. Multiply periodic payment by total number of payments. Okay. So, this one is for number 2. What is the total amount paid? So, meaning this is total amount paid is equal to R times the N. So, this is equal to the R which is 1933. 1933. 0.28. Multiplied by your N, which is 60, this is now the total amount paid. Total amount paid is equivalent to 115,996.81. Okay, so 115,996.81. Let us check whether it is correct or not. 1993, 1933.28 times 60. Okay, that is 115,996.81. Okay, so let us go now to number 3. How much interest is included in the total payments? Take note that you have paid this one and you only have 100,000. So meaning to say your interest will be interest number three, interest paid will be equal to, of course, this one, 115,000. 996.81 minus the 100,000 the principal. Okay. So you will be getting here 100,000. You will be getting here 69951. So this one is the interest. 15,000 900 96.81 is the interest. Example number two. XYZ Realty sold a piece of land for 200,000 pesos. A down payment of 50,000 pesos was made and the remainder is to be paid in equal semi-annual payments. The first due six months after the date of sale. The interest is 8% compounded semi-annually and the debt is to be amortized in five years. Question 1. How much semi-annual payments is required? Meaning we are asked to find the R. What will be the total amount of the payments B? How much will you pay in all? 3. How much interest will be paid? Okay, so we are looking for the interest here. And what is the total cost of the property? Let us identify first the given. The given R. Of course, we have here... 200 P is PV is 200,000 okay and then we have the R which is 8% or this is 0 0.08 and then we have the M semi-annual that is 2 and then we have T that is 5 years and then we have now N is equal to MT. So this is 
2 times 5. N is equal to 10. And then we have also I. Our I is 0 0.08 divided by 2. So I is equal to 0 0.04. Okay, That's let us solve for R now. This is R equals 200,000. I is 0 0.04 multiplied by 1.04 raised to N is 10. I have already added 1 plus 0 0.04 that is 1.04. Divided by 1.04 raised to 10 minus 1. Again, you press this one first. 1 1.04 raised to 10 multiplied by 0 0.04 equals divided by open parenthesis. 1.04 raised to 10 minus 1 close parenthesis equals. And then multiply it by 200,000. And you will be getting there 24,000. 658.19 Okay, so question number two What will be the total amount of the payments B? So you will be multiplying this. This is total amount Multiply R by of course the N so this is equal to 24,006 58.19 multiplied by 10. And you will be getting there, of course, 246581.90. Okay. So next, number three. Number three question. How much interest will be paid? So, meaning to say, we are asked to find the interest and interest is calculated by subtracting, of course, the total amount that will be, how much is the total amount? It's 246,581. 0.90 minus, of course, the 200,000. Okay, so this one is 918564. So this one is the interest. What about number four? What is the total cost of the property? Take note that you made a down payment here of 50,000. So, therefore, you will be adding this one and that one. And 50,000, I mean. So, therefore, this is 246,581.90 plus 50,000. That's the down payment. So, this is 9185692. So, that is 296,000. 581.90. So that is the total cost of the Let's property. Now go to mortgage. Mortgage is a real estate loan secured or collateralized by a house and the land where it is built. Example, Joan is purchasing a townhouse that costs 3,500,000. Her lender requires a 20% down payment and 80,000 in closing costs. What is the amount of Joanne's mortgage? Number two, how much does Joan need to secure the purchase of the townhouse before mortgage payments? Okay, how do we answer this? Number one, what is the amount of Joanne's mortgage? This is what you're going to do. You have to multiply the cost, the total cost of the townhouse which is 3,500,000 by of course 
the 20% down payment. So that is 0 0.20. So this one is equal to 700,000. So this one is the down payment, the DP. 700,000 pesos. But the question here is, how much is the amount of mortgage? How are we going to get it? This is 3 million 500,000 minus of course the 700,000 so this is now the amount of, amount of mortgage this is equivalent to 2 million 800,000 Again, this one is the amount of mortgage. Number two, how much does Joanne need to secure the purchase of the townhouse before mortgage payments? How are we going to do that? So you will be getting the down payment plus, of course, the closing, closing costs. Okay, so that will be the DP is 700,000 plus the closing cost is 80,000. So this is equal to 780,000. Example number two. Carla wants to purchase a condominium unit that costs 2,500,000. Her mortgage lender requires a 15% down payment for a 20-year 20-year loan. Her monthly mortgage payment will be 15000 How much in all will Carla pay over 20 years? How much will she pay for the interest? So we have two questions here. For number one, we need to get first the down payment, the required down payment, 2500000 multiplied by 0 0.15. You will be getting here 375,000 so this one is the down payment okay now what will be the mortgage of Carla how much so that will be 2,500,000 that is the total cost minus of course the down payment 375,000 you will be getting there 2,125,000. Yes. Number two. How much will she pay for the interest? How are we going to get the interest? Let us solve for the N first. The N is empty. So the N is M multiplied by T. Your M there is well, and your T there is, of course, 20. So, N is equal to 240. Now, we need to get, the, of course, the payment. This one, the mortgage payment is 15,000. So, meaning, we will be multiplying N by that R. Okay, so this one is equal to 240 multiplied by 15,000. You will be getting there three million six hundred thousand. To find the interest, you will be subtracting three million six hundred thousand by two million one hundred twenty-five thousand, and you will be getting one million four hundred seventy-five thousand.